forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Today's Mass, we pray for all souls in the problem. Let us acknowledge all our shortcomings and failures and ask forgiveness from our merciful God. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Supreme of Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the fourth book of Kings. Elijah and Tashbai said to King Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. The word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go from here and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the Hawaii chariot, which is east of the Jordan. You shall drink from the water, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the Wadi chair, which is east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening. He drank from the Wadi. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help and is from the Lord, who made, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from, from the Lord, Lord who made, made heaven and earth. earth. I will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Our help is from, from, from the Lord, Lord who, made who made heaven and earth. earth. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from, from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. earth. The Lord will keep you from all evil, he will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in, from this time and on forevermore. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. 
glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, the disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when the people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear mother and brothers and sisters in Christ. It is natural for us all to seek happiness in life. No one wants to suffer, be deprived, or be incomplete. We seek fulfillment in life. The two important questions we need to ask to find happiness is firstly, what is true happiness? And secondly, how do we attain true happiness? We are promised two ways to happiness. We can choose the good life or the God life. The world promises us a good life. What does this so-called good life consist of? From the worldly point of view, we can say that happiness is defined as pleasures fulfilled. A good life is a growing economy, a bullish stock market, a city of fun and entertainment, sumptuous food, luxurious living, minimum working hours, and holidays abroad. It is an illusion to think that when we have all the pleasures of this world, we will be happy and fulfilled. Secondly, happiness is defined in terms of glory and popularity. This means that if we are owned, well-known, popular and recognized, we will find happiness and fulfillment. Still, something is lacking there. We don't have a perfect satisfaction there. Thirdly, happiness is defined in terms of power. This desire for power has to do with absolute freedom. We want to control our lives and the lives of others. We want the power to do whatever we like. The more power we have, the greater is our freedom. We do not like God 
because we feel that he takes away our freedom to do what we want. Still, we miss something from this world. We are distracted. We are not happy. In contrast to this, the gospel offers us true happiness. What is true happiness and understanding of our Lord? It is to live a godly life. If it is a godly life, it will always be a good life. What is a godly life? It is a life of compassion. Passion and compassion are what makes us truly human. Happy those who mourn, happy those who hunger and thirst for what is the right. Happy the merciful, happy the peacemakers. Secondly, a godly life is a life lived virtuously. It is a life lived in honesty and integrity. Jesus said, happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. To live virtuously is to live the life of the Spirit. It is very clear from St. Paul's letter to Galatians, chapter 5, 19 to 23. Thirdly, a godly life is one of right relationship with others and with God. What gives us meaning in life is ultimately a loving and caring relationship. It is only when we mourn with others, show mercy to each other, live in peace and love, that we are called the sons and daughters of God. In the final analysis, ultimate happiness is to see God. Jesus said, happy, happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Only when we see God face to face, can all desires stop, because to find Him is to find affinity. It's a kind of Beatific vision it is our strong relationship with our God. It's very clear from um, St. John's first letter, chapter 3, 2. He says, um, When He is revealed, we will be like Him, for we will see Him as He is. Lord, we have this hope in Him, purifying themselves, just as. He is pure. Dear friends, relying on God and living a life of integrity and service and in right relationship with God and our fellow men is what a blessed life is all about. Let us try our best to be the persons of the attitudes. May God bless us all. With confidence in God's unconditional love, let us submit all our petitions before Him. Lord Jesus, Make us humble and meek, pure of heart and merciful, so that we may be able to find a real happiness in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, help us to be the persons of the attitudes thereby we may easily find the way to eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those seeking work. May they be blessed with employment and the resources they need to care for themselves and their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have fallen away from their faith, 
may Christ open their hearts to his mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they now rest in the arms of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our own personal intentions that we hold in our hearts now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, for creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread be of you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O God, for creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine be of you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from all my injuries and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the age of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. For him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, hosts and are in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, hosts and are in the heavens. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this is with me by sending down your spirit upon them in the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you a little bit. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for all for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that not of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in you one by the Holy Spirit. Remember the Lord your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis our Pope, Thomas our Cardinal, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, so we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merge to be poised to turn alive and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed to that divine teaching, we turn to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may draw ways free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your forces, peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant them peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take your way to sin to the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin to the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin to the world. Grant us mercy. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless that was called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
Nós pedimos que esperamos para nos dar gozo, mas por esse amor, mais somos chantilly. Boa e andar as coisas. Brevemos que esteja para nós em live. Amém. Let us pray together a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I can embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me. Never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O oh Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail the Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, for one of children of you. Listen to our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious God, to me. You are so mercy towards us, and after this other time, show to us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O come to love me. O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. May we work to the promise of Christ. Have a blessed day, stay safe.